Yo, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy, Lofi, here, and I hope you guys are all having a great day, okay? I hope nobody pissed in your SpaghettiOs, because that would really suck. But you know what sucks more than getting pissed in your SpaghettiOs? It's, uh, people who cheat. Now, I'm not talking about cheating on a test, okay? Everybody's cheated on some homework or two. So, yeah, you do you with that. It doesn't really matter to me. What I do hate is people who cheat on their boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, husbands, significant others, okay? That stuff, I despise that. Like, bro, you tell me that you managed to, like, cuff somebody who you thought was pretty cool, and yet you still think that they're not good enough? Yeah, okay, get out. And what's even worse is when they try to lie about it, and the excuses some of these people give is absolutely insane. Which is why I thought we'd look at this video today of, uh, these guys in divorce court getting caught red-handed and then deciding to lie about it. So yeah, sit back, relax, grab your favorite crack pipe, and let's get right into this. I'm a size 5, mm -hmm. okay? I found a size 9 pair of underwear in his truck. I don't know where those came from. She's lying about that. Damn, man switched up fast as hell. He was like, uh, I don't know where those came from. Uh, wait, never mind. Nah, she's lying. That never happened. This man can even keep his story straight. First, she's lying. Second, it never happened at all. Also, if you're gonna do the WWE SmackDown moves in your car with another woman, at least, I don't know, make sure she doesn't leave behind any pairs of underwear. Like, how does that even happen? How do you just leave a pair of underwear in the car? How do you just forget? Oops, I forgot to wear my underwear. That's disgusting. That's even worse than forgetting to put on deodorant. Now, she's lying about now. I, now, I, one of three, both of those statements can't be true. This, is he, you don't know how they got there, or it's not true that they were there. Was Which one was it? Bro, that's what I'm saying. If you're gonna lie and cheat, at least be able to keep your story straight. Also, tell me why this guy looks like a wannabe version of a pimp named Slickback from the Boondocks. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Also, I don't know why this man is trying to lie. Your wife found a whole different pair of underwear that's a whole different size. Look, dude, I don't know how coochie size is measured, but... You cannot fool a woman about woman stuff. You got caught, all right? Just deal with your consequences and move on with your life. There's no saving this, broski. You got caught. You're done. It's over. I they were driving, there, weren't now, they? I could have been driving down the street with the, with the music up. Somebody, a lady might have slingshot him through the back. Are you just, serious? Bro, what? This man really just said, uh, I was just driving down the street. My window was down and some whore just came up and slingshotted her panties into my car window. Bro, I've heard middle schoolers tell better stories about how they f***ed my mom on Xbox Live. I pulled back my covers. And this is what I see on women underwears. Bro, what is it with all these guys and leaving the side chicks underwear where it can easily be found by the main hoe? Like, this makes no sense. How do you do that? That's almost as bad as smoking crack in front of a police station, dude. Like, that's so dumb. Also, is it the side chick, like, missing something? Like, how do you sleep with somebody, get out of bed, and just walk out without your underwear, your bra? Like, that must be so uncomfortable. Now, this may be mine, but this ain't no way this <laughs> Could be mine. Bro, nah, you got caught red-handed, dude. There's no getting away from this. Like, that's obviously not hers. I swear to God, this guy better not try to pull some, uh... I just went, you know, to Victoria's Secret trying to get her some stuff, and I just got the wrong size. Bro, this woman looked like she has some big titty. That looks like it'll fill some small titty, okay? That looks like it would fit me and my negative A cups, dude. Like, come on. Mr. Flannori, what is your response to that accusation? Okay, I bought the un underwear at a lingerie store. For her? So, yes, for her. I got the wrong size, yeah. That's the only thing I'm guilty of, of getting the wrong size. Hold up. Bro, I knew it. I called it. I knew he was going to say that. That is the most BS excuse I've ever heard in my entire life, bro. Like, you telling me that you get married to somebody and don't know how to get the right bra size. Like, bro, like, I get it, you know. As a guy, we don't really know about that stuff. But how do you get one so small it can't even fit one whole titty in it? This dude is capping harder than my dad was when he said he'd be back from the store to get some milk 17 years ago. The only thing I'm guilty of of getting the yeah, wrong size. Hold up that bra again. Do I want to now see you, bra? You, know, you cannot mean to tell me you thought that was... <laughs> <laughs> bro, everybody in the courtroom is just laughing at this man, bro. You you got caught. You got caught, dude. Ain't no point in lying anymore. Like, dog, when the entire courtroom is laughing at you, you know you've lost. Just like in middle school, whenever somebody would say a roast in the entire classroom would be like, damn, ooh. It's over. Like, it's over. There's no coming back from this. He, he admitted to cheating on me one time. He said that he received over sex from, from a girl. He said he didn't do anything or... Uh, uh, Nothing else happened. That's the only thing that happened. It is. Bro, how is this even a case? How is this even an argument? You already admitted to cheating, dude. Yeah, I didn't really, like, cheat, cheat. Like, she just sucked my wiener. It's not like, you know, we really did anything. Bro, that's still cheating. This man really got caught in 4K and was like, yeah, that was me. 
freaking loser. But he don't remember her name. I don't. He don't. I mean, how you gonna I let don't somebody what do she look like? Okay, Nick, listen, then, how does something like that happen? Yeah, seriously. How do you end up, you know, doing the diddly with somebody and be like, I don't know what she looked like. I don't know her name. Like, what? Did you put a bag over her head? Like, bro, come on. This man's just definitely lying. He's over here like, yeah, I don't, I don't know her name. I don't know what she looked like. Please explain to all of us how that happened and how you don't know anything about this woman. I was drunk and I was, I was over the wrong person's house and she was there. <laughs> Seriously? Wrong place, wrong time, I was drunk? Yeah, okay, that's what every guy who cheats says. You shouldn't have been over at that house, bro. Like, if you knew that there was some other girl there and you shouldn't have been over there and you were drinking, dude, you should have called yourself an Uber and just went home. Unless it was against your will, uh, being drunk does not count as an excuse for cheating. If you could just say, oh, I was drunk to get away with anything, then dude, nobody would be in jail. I'm sorry, officer, I didn't mean to rob the 7-Eleven, I was drunk. Like, if anything, that just makes it worse. <laughs> She did catch me laying in the bed with another woman, okay? Now, the way that happened- Nah, bro, this one's already over. Dude wearing an oversized suit and thick glasses like some nerd talking about, Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, actually, what had happened was, the woman in the bed, uh, I didn't know how she got there. I'm sorry, anytime somebody has to say, actually, what had happened was, you better hear some bullshit. And bro, like, you already got caught laying in bed with another woman, bro. Like, she walked in, woman was right there, you were in bed with her. Like, there's nothing else to tell here. But go off, I guess. When she came in, I did not know the woman was in the bed, and I put- I... <laughs> Your honor, that's what he told me too. I that's the look it. I gave him too. Honor. Bro, I really feel sorry for all these women that get cheated on by these really horrible guys. Like, you really thought you had found the one, you get married, and everything's going great. But then you walk into your bedroom and see your man in bed with another woman, and he's like, Oh, I don't know how she got there. <laughs> this is absurd. I swear to God, people that cheat deserve to get the crappy half of the divorce settlement. Hope you signed the prenup, broski. You're gonna need it. I had a roommate, and she was up with him. I went to sleep before both of them. So when I woke up, matter of fact, if she if she gonna tell you the whole truth like she's supposed to be doing, she would have told you I woke up with a baffled. Really? He's trying to blame it on the roommate? That's, bro, why are you trying to throw your homie under the bus when he didn't even do anything? This man just broke the bro code, dude. Bros before hoes. Everybody knows that. And the second that this dude got caught with a hoe he wasn't supposed to be with, he said, uh, that was actually my roommate. He had a girl over and she snuck in my bed, so it's not really my fault. Lying ass. And then he had the nerve to act surprised when he got caught. Really like, what are you talking about? And I tried to go back to sleep until she came, she left. And then she came back in, and then that's when, you know, I rolled over, and then I see this other woman. I'm like, yo, are you seriously in my bed? <laughs> Bro, so this man got caught in bed with another woman, pretended she wasn't there, went back to sleep, woke back up, and then was like, what? Oh my god, how did you get here? That is just disgusting, dude. Like, how are you gonna bold face lie to your wife like that while in bed with another woman actively, dude? Like, you got caught. At least have the decency to tell the truth when you get caught or called out, dude. Like, come on. One time, I actually woke up from a nap and came into the living area, and he was on a video chat with a random woman. Um, having very, very explicit conversations with her and touching himself. Bro, this dude was having Discord e-sex with some chick. While he has a wife, bro. Oh, come on. This man really said, yo, I have an actual wife that I could probably do some cool stuff with. Nah, screw that. I'm gonna hop in the Discord e-dating server and ask who's up. And his, his only thing that he could say to me when I confronted him about this was, oh... You know, I thought you were gonna be sleeping longer. Bro, I cannot get over this guy's look, dude. This man literally looks like a Discord moderator. Dude really said, hey, kitten, are you online? The wifey went to sleep, ooh, woo. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. I know that was just, like, for a little bit, but I, 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 feel, I feel like I need to take a shower, okay? I feel like I need to get rebaptized again after saying that sentence. When the love life in the bedroom is, like, staring at a brick wall, or I could get more action from a wind-up toy like the monkey with the clappers going, <laughs> uh... It doesn't leave many other options for scratching that itch. Maybe, I don't know, you could just talk to your partner and be like, Hey, stuff has been kind of boring, okay? Why don't you shove a cactus up my ass? Okay, maybe not that. That sounds kind of dangerous and painful. But I don't know, maybe just talk to your partner about stuff. You know, work things out like adults. Jesus Christ. What is so hard with talking to your significant other about some problems or some things that you might want to address? Like, like you'd really rather go cheat on them than have a five-minute conversation that could probably save and change everything? This is why I'm glad I'm single right now, dude, all right? I wake up every day knowing that nobody's gonna cheat on me because nobody loves me. GG, let's go. Have you been stepping out on her? Let me ask you that. I had to. I got needs. What needs was 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 she not meeting? 
sexual needs, food needs. I, I like food, sex, and silence. Nah, this dude is just straight up a butthole, dude. He really said, yeah, she wasn't, like, being quiet enough and her cooking was bad, so I decided to cheat on her. Man's really said, I got needs, okay? She didn't want to finger my booty hole with a cactus, so... I cheated on her. Like, bro, what? Anytime I hear about dude cheating or girls cheating, they always say, Oh, it's because I have needs. Everybody has needs, okay? Like, I need you to like this video right now, but are you gonna do it? I don't know, but I mean, if you did, bro, I'd really appreciate that. Seriously, though, screw this guy. He sucks. He's a loser. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. All these guys got caught in 4K, and they gave the worst excuses about it that I've ever heard in my entire life. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. The moral of this story is never get married. Okay, because if you never get married, then you won't get cheated on. All right, life hacks from Lofi. Write that down. Seriously, though, I really hope you guys all had a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, my dude.